All right, what's on the bench? Uh, this came from the Vintage Tech Museum up in Oregon. Uh, it's called the Curve Bug. Uh, they reached out to me and said they'd like to promote this thing. Uh, you can buy this on their, uh, on their site. I'll put a link down below. Uh, but uh, yeah, Vintage Tech is, is a great uh, YouTube site as well. If you go to YouTube, they have a whole bunch of uh, videos and stuff on all kinds of, all kinds of vintage, vintage stuff. If you want to learn how to lay out a PC board with paper and <laughs> uh, that kind of thing. And uh, they have a whole bunch of audio, audio recordings of uh, training for electronics and stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, what is this little thing? Uh, <clears throat> so uh, it has three connectors, uh, black, common, and red. Okay, that's interesting. And then a USB-C connector. And you go, what the heck is that thing? Okay, so if you are vintage enough, you you've you've run across an item called an octopus. Um, uh, uh, Alan W two A W did a nice video on the octopus. I used to have one. I couldn't find it. I've since thrown it away. But it 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 it's a a poor man's curve tracer. It uses a transformer and uh, to sweep the thing, just like just like my big big uh, curve tracer uses a transformer to sweep things, and then you monitor uh, voltage across the resistor, which is current, and then the voltage itself, which is voltage, and you have current and voltage, and you can create an IV curve, right? Uh, uh, current versus voltage, IV or VI, whichever one you want to do. So this is a curve tracer. Um, it's kind of a modern octopus. Uh, it has a microprocessor in here. I'll, I'll show a picture here of the uh, of the insides of this thing. It's a little more complicated than I thought it was going to be, but basically it has a microprocessor and some circuitry and op amp and stuff like that. And um, if you if you look at the front here, uh, black, common, and red, you can think of this as a two-channel oscilloscope or a two-channel curve tracer. Really, uh, there's the black channel and there's the red channel, and then there's a common ground. Okay. So you can you can do an IV curve uh, using this connector, and you can do a separate IV curve using this connector. Okay, um, and well, where does it go out? Well, you have to hook this up to a PC. Okay, so you download their their file, and it installs on your PC, and then you hook it up. So let's let's hook one up, and we'll make it go. All right, I think I can get this all on camera here. Uh, the program is called Curvebug. Um, when you download their file, it's just a zip file, but it contains just one file. It contains a Curvebug installer. It's a .msi file, and uh, you just load it and and it goes. So we'll we'll turn on. Uh, uh, let's see. We'll plug this thing in, um, and we'll turn on Curvebug, and there we go. That this is what we this is what we get. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let me change. There we go. Change that one looks a little bit better. Okay. So, the way that you use this thing is uh, I'm going to be using a couple uh, uh, DVM probes, and we will do the uh, we will do the black black trace first. Okay. And so um, we need something to test. All right. So here's an LED, okay? And if I put the uh, uh, the two probes on the LED uh, and I put them right way around, and there you go. You can see that we have a we have a little bit of a turn up there and then the other way around. So this has a, a high VF, right? Um, so let's try a transistor, which will have more like a, 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 a silicon, silicon based, uh, silicon based thing. So let me go here from lead to lead. And when you short them out, it goes straight up and down. And if I get it right way around, there we go. So you see that we're getting a, uh, we're getting a, a, a curve there, right? That is a, that is a diode, right? And on the other side of the transistor, I, I get I get the same thing. So there's one diode on this side of the transistor, one diode on that side of the transistor. So this so so this is a good a good transistor, right? 
uh, we could test a 1K resistor, and there's a 1K resistor. It's a straight line, but it's uh, it has a particular it has a particular slope to it. Now there's no units on this at all. It is a visual representation of what you're looking at. You're trying to find if something is broken or not, and uh, it's a little bit fancier than that. We'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, so let me kind of show you here um, how you might be using this thing. All right, hopefully I can get this all on camera here. I guess I can kind of set that right there. So here's the circuit board and you don't know if anything's right or wrong. And it does have some, it does have some diodes. Like here's a diode down here. So let me do it in that direction. So you get this funny looking trace and I'm going to swap uh, red for black and you go, oh, there we go. There, uh, that, that is a, that is a diode and it looks like kind of a leaky diode. And in the other direction, it looks like it's maybe breaking down as well. So this might be a Zener diode. All right, let's find another diode on the uh, on the circuit. Here's a diode over here. Oops. Okay, I'm going to probe that one. That looks like a good diode. If I go in the reverse direction, nothing happens. And there's a tiny, tiny little thing out there. You see a little bit leakage in the reverse direction, but yeah, that's a good diode. And this diode in the right direction. Let's see here. Um, there we go. There's another diode in the right direction. Okay, so uh, here's a here's a big a big like a three watt a three watt one, and look at that. Look look at the funny shape of that one. Um, now, why is it offset and why is it kind of not uh, symmetric? Well, the signals go um, minus three volts and plus one volt. Okay, so uh, or the other way around. Let's see here. Let me take a look at their documentation. I'm trying to remember from reading it. Yeah, minus three volts and plus one volt. Okay. So, um, so we're able to see this thing turn on. Then we're also able to see some breakdown in that direction. Let's go, let's go this way. Uh, so there is the forward direction of the diode. And then you can kind of see there's some reverse breakdown over this away. Uh, we could test an IC. There's an IC here. We can kind of probe the IC and we're getting kind of some weird, some weird shape things. Um, you kind of need to learn what does it mean to be a weird shape. Um, but if you have a, it's like that's a, that's a resistor in that direction. Okay. Cause it's a straight line. But if I do, that was pins one and two. If I do pins one and two in this direction, you kind of see there's kind of a funny diode type thing going on there. So what this really good is really good for is if you have one good board and one bad board, you can compare the two. And the guy who developed this did it for some technicians to quickly troubleshoot PC boards uh, to see it, what was right and what was wrong. All right, here's a big uh, fat uh, transistor right here. Um, and you can see, look, it's looking good. That one's looking good. And that was collector base. And then here's collector emitter and it's looking good too. All right. All right. So, uh, now we can get to the fun part. All right. I told you this was a two trace, um, like a two trace oscilloscope, a two trace a curve tracer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the black wire in the black and the red wire in the red. And then we're going to put a third one here for the common. Okay. So this is, this is our common. All right. So now I can do common to the, uh, to the base of this transistor. And, uh, so the red trace now, now, now I'm poking with the red trace. The red trace is looking at the, uh, emitter and, uh, the black trace is over here. Going to look at, Gonna look at, gonna look at that one, and they're just a. Let's see here. I'm not doing this well. Let's see here. Let me put it. Um, that's not right. I'm trying to get both curves of the uh, of the uh, transistor both on the same screen. And I'm failing. <laughs> I'm failing. Oh, there we go. Okay. The common should be on the base. There we go. Common should be on the base. And then if I look at the collector with the black 
and I look at the emitter with the red, and eh, that's not working either. I don't know. Anyway, you get the idea. You, get, you can look at two different things at the same time. Let's try this little transistor over on this side of the board. And one of the things they do in their troubleshooting guide is they say, take your, um, take your common and place it on a ground and then go probe around on the circuit and look for things, okay? And look for kind of shape signatures, right? Now we're gonna poke around and we're not on any ground on this side of the, on this side of it. So let's, let's go here. And uh, there's one with the red trace. I'm gonna grab the black and I'm gonna to try to probe the other one over here. And there we go. See, we're getting two different things um, at the same time. So you're able to look at two different signals. So imagine you have a, uh, some, maybe some matched things and you wanna compare the two, see if they're, if they're matched enough. Or um, you just have uh, maybe a, a, a troubleshooting guide where, you know, you should see this, you should see this. Now, just with a, just like with an octopus or, or a curve tracer in general, um, you can look at things like, um, so we can find one, there should be one laying on my desk here. Yep, <laughs> here's a capacitor. Let's look at a capacitor, okay? And we need to look at with the common on one side and a probe on the other side. And uh, capacitors have a circle, okay? They have a, uh, uh, a circle in nature. So this is a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. And um, I already showed you, I already showed you that one. I already showed you the, uh, the straight line. So anyway, um, it's, a, it's a fun little tool. Um, it comes with documentation. It talks about how this thing, uh, different, different uh, pictures of things that, that you might, uh, might uh, get hold of. This is kind of the block diagram of the thing. Is that too bright? Um, so it has an arm, it has a it's at 30, ST micro 32 in it. Um, it's got a uh, resistor to measure the current. Uh, on the red channel and then a resistor to measure on the black channel. Um, there are some um, commands you can give this window. Um, I don't remember the commands off the top of my head. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. All right, if you hit the space bar it, instead of using a 4.5 K ohm res resistor, it uses a 100 K ohm resistor. So you can look at the the circuit at two different uh, levels, okay? Uh, so that's what the space bar does. The P pauses the scanning and, and, and holds the image. And then S is a single channel, uh, black trace only, useful for writing the manual. Okay, so it, it locks, it just locks the picture and allows you to just do a single scan. Um, well, there you go. Uh, it's a fun little, fun little gadget. Um, I don't really know how much they're charging for these things, um, but uh, this is all you get. You don't get any probes or anything. Uh, black, common, red. Download the uh, manual. Download the uh, the file, and uh, that's all there is to it. So, give your support to the uh, the tech museum. The vintage, the vintage tech museum. That's the uh, curve bug.